Good evening and welcome to the Year 11 Information Evening. Now, uh, under usual circumstances, we'd all be together uh, in the Academy Hall or in the Conference Theatre talking through the information that you'll need for Year 11 for Maths, English, Science and other subjects. And then giving you a chance to ask questions, uh, learn about what happens for the rest of the year and to speak to staff as well. Now, unfortunately, under these uh, circumstances, we're not able to do that. So uh, we're given the opportunity to learn about what's going to happen for uh, the rest of the year. Um, and I suppose it gives you the opportunity for more subjects to be able to reach out to parents and to students and to uh, talk to them about the rest of the year and how it will work. So we created this uh, site for parents to be able to watch the videos for the subjects that are relevant to uh, their children and be able to pause, um, to, to rewind, I suppose, are some of the advantages of having a site and recordings in this way. First thing I wanted to say for Year 11 is, is, is a huge welcome back and, uh, and well done for the way they have started uh, Year 11. It has been different uh, and they've adapted to these changes exceptionally well and we come back with a really positive, positive attitude. Most of all, please to be back, please be back in school and learning together uh, again, getting ready for Year 11. When I spoke to Year 11s last week, um, virtually, uh, as it has to be, uh, we spoke about how uh, every single lesson matters uh, now. Every day is important and every single subject will count. And particularly because of the situation that we are in, the time they have lost of, of learning um, and what the future could hold. This is particularly important that every lesson will matter, every day is important and every subject will count for them moving forward. They have to understand this bigger context. They've had approximately 2,300 days of education uh, so far, um, but they have lost 75 days of, of learning at the end of, of uh, year 11. What do they have left? Well, it's about 130 school days left before their first core exam uh, in year 11. And, um, and so while there is, a, there is enough time to catch up, there is enough time to uh, make up for what hasn't been able to be uh, covered, we know that and we've prepared for that. Um, it does mean that there's no more time to lose. And so they have to make sure that every lesson, every day and every subject counts for them. So if we looked at it in, in this way, uh, with 2,300 days of education so far and, then, and about 130 days left or school days left for the end of year 11, as a proportion that looks um, like that, to me that looks like five minutes before midnight, uh, that segment there um, was a part of a clock, it looks about five minutes left. And so I asked year 11s to, to think about if they had five minutes uh, before a, a life changing event, uh, what would they do? Well, everyone would do everything they can to prepare themselves physically and mentally uh, for it. And that's what, how they've got to see uh, year 11. It is the preparation for a significant, a really, really important life-changing event, ensuring the qualifications that they need to move forward onto the next stage of their life. So they have to understand the importance of, of year 11 and, uh, and how significant it is for them. It's a limited time that they have, but it is enough time to make a difference. The year 11 situation is, is unique and we, and we have to recognize that. Um, yes, there's been 75 days of, of, of education, of learning. Uh, that's nearly half of year 11. Uh, but many got centre assessed uh, grades at the end of year 10. And those grades are, are, are banked and they will, they will count for the students as they move forward into post-16, into jobs, university applications in the future. Those grades will count for the students. And, that, and that's uh, something that they can hold with them and move into year 11 without being concerned about those. Now, we have been told that there will be exams at the end of this year. The, the government have said they plan on having uh, an exam season as is normal, um, which is good, which is what we can prepare our students for. But we have to be prepared uh, that things can change throughout the year and they are changing day by day. They're changing week by week. And so exams could be uh, different to what we've had in the past. They could be traditional exams, sitting in the exam hall uh, with an exam paper in front of you. Um, and writing for the hour, hour and a half, whatever is, is needed. Um, there could be centre assessed grades, again, as the year 11s uh, had to have uh, last year. Um, 
They could use coursework components. They could ask us to create those coursework components in the new year uh, and send them in for marking. Um, it could be a combination of all of these. So it's really, really important we are prepared for all of these eventualities. And the students see uh, every lesson, every assessment that they do in class as really, really important and contributing to their grades more than just getting ready for an exam at the end of the year. We may need that evidence. Um, we may need that proof of how we think they would perform in case we have to go into centre assess grades again, some coursework components, uh, or a mix of all of those together to try and get them the qualification that they deserve at the end of the year. Um, so we hope it is exams as, uh, as normal, but we have to be prepared for other eventualities that could happen throughout the year. Also, it's important that, and we spoke to students uh, last week about this, that they're ready for uh, attainment eight or what's sometimes called A8. And this takes the best eight grades and gives a, a total. Colleges, employees, uh, apprenticeship uh, providers um, are all looking at these uh, more and more. And it looks at your performance and your attainment across a range of subjects. Because too often uh, we hear that it doesn't matter. Uh, I only need perhaps English uh, at, at maths to get into college or they only want maths and English uh, or only need five uh, GCSEs uh, to get into the course that I want. And under usual circumstances, uh, that might be right, although that is changing, that is changing uh, year on year. But now colleges um, will have a more competitive uh, environment. Uh, they will have um, a limited number of places, but perhaps more students wanting to stay in education while the uh, job market is uncertain. So it's really important that they um, aspire to attaining the highest possible grades in all their subjects. So an attainment eight score is worked out in this way. Um, students will have their, their best eight subjects taken. Um, and English and maths uh, count as two. They count as two subjects. They are uh, what's they called double weighted. Then imagine a student who got a seven in English language, uh, maths is a six, they're both double weighted. Combined science, two GCSEs would be a four and a five. Uh, geography is six. Art and DT could be subjects that they're awarded grades for uh, at the end of year, uh, end of year 10. And English literature of five. That would give them an attainment eight score of, of 59. Sometimes they divide that by 10 to give a score, an average uh, attainment eight score of 5.9. And so you can see that every grade in every subject will count more and more colleges, employers, apprenticeship providers are looking at performance uh, um, across a broader range of subjects uh, than before. It's also important that students understand that they are in a competitive race for results. So it'll probably be between 400 and 500,000 year 11 students will take exams in uh, 2021. Uh, and they already decide on the proportion. They do what's called comparable outcomes. So year on year, they try and match the performance um, with the year before uh, to try and make it fair uh, and comparable uh, every single year. So they know what proportion of students will get a nine in English literature and a grade five in, in maths. And then they fit the performance of the students in that cohort to fit the proportion of students they want nationally to get those grades. And so it's really important that every child asks themselves, what are they going to do to make sure they get that grade? It is a competition within the school and across the whole country for year 11s to get um, in those grade boundaries, which can change um, to make sure they get the grade that they need. So what can they do? Well, they can make sure that they make every minute of every single lesson count. Uh, be here. Obviously, there may be episodes of self-isolation. We understand that throughout the year, but they need to be here on time in every lesson, making every single lesson count. We will need possibly the evidence of their work in lessons for us to be able to make a judgment perhaps on centre assess grades later if exams can't happen. It's really important that every minute of every lesson uh, counts. Attend after school enrichments. We've set these up. These are established now. Uh, and so they've got a chance to continue their learning. And I suppose with the lost learning that has happened uh, in year 10, these are really, really important opportunities to, to make up for uh, learning that hasn't been able to happen in the conventional way um, last year. And you use Google Classroom. Many, many year 11s were fantastic at using this um, and are using it uh, from September as well. 
So please make sure this is something that they are logged into, they can engage in, um, they're completing homework on that where it's relevant, and they are using that if they have to be absent from school, that's something that can provide a, a continuity of learning uh, for the students throughout year 11, if that's what needs to happen. But there are fantastic resources on there to supplement uh, the learning that's happening in, in lessons. So thank you for, for listening um, and you'll have a chance to uh, navigate the, the site to look at the subjects which are particularly relevant uh, and important for your child uh, and other resources about learning um, and how to revise as well, which is also really important. But this key message has to stay. Uh, that every lesson will matter. Every day is going to be important for Year 11s and every subject will count for them in the future moving forward. Thank you.